And we're getting answers at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base is in line for a multi-million dollar upgrade as part of the National Defense Authorization Act. The base's National Air and Space Intelligence Center, better known as NASIC, will receive more than $180 million in federal funding. Ten News reporter Dana Smith joining us live with what this means for the base and our local economy. build a new NASIC facility right here at the base, and people I spoke to tell me it's a good idea. People who work around the base say any news of expansion is good news. It is good news. We have a lot of, we have a lot of people from the base come out here. A lot of people, a lot of people come out here from the base, and then they're really nice, you know, they, they give us, you know, they're, they're really friendly, they, you know, they tell us they love our food. The National Defense Authorization Act will authorize $182 million for the expansion of the base's National Air and Space Intelligence Center. Included in that money, $61 million to go towards starting construction this year. This is, uh, if not the largest, it's certainly one of the largest uh, single uh, construction projects um, in expansion that, uh, at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Ohio Representative Mike Turner welcomed the move as necessary to help NASIC's critical missions. This, this is strictly a size issue and, and capabilities issue. Uh, NASIC currently has a nearly new facility um, that, that they're occupying. Um, just because of the increased mission and, and jobs, uh, they've outgrown that facility. Um, that's a good sign for us at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, and it certainly is a good sign um, for our national security. Turner says the act is expected to be adopted by the House this week before it goes on to the Senate. Senator Rob Portman said in a statement, this defense bill is a win for our efforts to rebuild our military, a win for our troops, and a win for Ohio as well. Senator Sherrod Brown said this bill will make sure Wright Pat's highly skilled workers can continue to do their jobs and help meet our national security needs. I reached out to Wright Pat Air Force Base about this, but they declined to comment. I'm live in Fairborn, Dana Smith, 2 News, working for you.